How would you describe fear as a child? What is your personality? Very sunny nature, always very happy, easy going, you'd make the most of whatever was in front of him, you know, he'd sit in a restaurant for two hours and play with a knife and fork and just very, very contented. Are you making him breakfast? What are you making him? He always has cheese on toast. Cheese on toast? Mm. And a cup of tea with a straw. Um, I would say that he is mentally very, very lively, very bright and very amusing. The happiest moment I've spent with Theo. Well, I, it's hard to say. It's, it's it's every time, really, you know. Every time I'm with him, he's just so entertaining and so funny and so accepting and light-hearted about everything. He just makes it easy to live with. He's been around in circles loads on the carpet. He's got wheels. You get huge stuff at charity. I touch his radiator. The sparks were that long. Hit quite a lot as well. SMA is, it stands for spinal muscular atrophy, and it's a, a genetic condition. Two parents have to come together and they both carry a recessive gene. Once those two parents are together, they have a one in four chance of having a baby with SMA. What kind of grades are you? I was like, I don't know all of them. I got distinction in French, the last bit I did. In maths, I looked at the criteria and I think I can get an A star. Tech, I'm not sure I should have done it by tech that much. <laughs> and it's ICT, I think I can also get a distinction. Basically the message goes from the brain to the cells in the spine, but it's then not sent on to the muscles, so the muscles aren't used. Wait, yeah. well, there's only a little bit of cyanide on <laughs> the, the person is weak all over, and although there's nothing wrong with the muscles because they're not used, they obviously get weaker and weaker. When Theo was one, he was walking around the furniture. So we didn't realise anything was wrong with him, but that by the time he was 18 months, he couldn't even stand up. Well, home care's a funny one, because there's loads of people who work for this you one company. You have agencies. Yeah, and agency excellent companies, like random who comes in. But normally there's <laughs> three <laughs> different <laughs> ones that normally come in. And I have Debbie. I have one of my two at school, so I have six. Um, well, when Theo will get back about four o'clock and then we're off to Helen House, which is a children's hospice in Oxford. We go and stay there two or three times a year. Um, and I stay in the flat and Theo stays actually in the house and has a great time. I think it gets up at about 12, one o'clock. You've left it a bit late to say, haven't you? If you'd said it two weeks ago, it wouldn't have been a problem. But to come back now, when we're due to be there in the morning. It is two weeks ago, I said. So yeah, that's it. Well, I think it's basically, it's built on the grounds of the Catholic Church, I'm absolutely sure. Um, and then people fundraise, lots of people do fundraising around the country. Um, it's a very good, lovely place. You're not looking forward to going to Ben Hampton? Not really. Why is that? Done well, everything there, nothing to do. Um, for Theo's future, I hope that he'll get married because he's very keen on girls. Um, but he'll have a successful career in IT or maths or science. Well, he will. I know he will. He will be a successful person because he's got the drive and the motivation. What he can't do physically, he makes up for mentally. Theo's just gone off to his room, so we're going to go in now and check him in and hopefully have a nice restful time. They'll look after Theo all the time and we go off round Oxford to the pictures or the shops or the colleges and just really, really chill out. It's the only place we can come where somebody else has total responsibility for Theo. So see you later.